objects. In JavaScript, an object is a standalone entity with properties and type. A property of an object can be explained as a variable that is attached to the object. Properties can be accessed using dot notation. Here I created an object called my car and then I assigned uh, two properties car, my car dot make equals Ford my car dot model equals Mustang you can also create a property and not assign it a value so now my car dot color is going to be undefined now uh, everything is case sensitive, so you have to make sure the right things are capitalized. And you can see um, it's going to be my car that make is for my color dot colors undefined. Properties in JavaScript objects can be accessed or set using bracket notation. Also, what I just showed you is dot notation. Let me show you bracket notation. So there's the bracket notation. And also you can console.log with bracket notation. And you can see it's going to pull in Mustang for the model. A property name can be any string, but if the name is a space or hyphen or starts with a number, it must be accessed with bracket notation. Oh, And it's going to use that property. The property is do I like, and then the value is going to log as I hate my car. You can use bracket notation with for in loops to iterate over all the innumerable properties of an object. I'm just going to paste this in. So here's the function. The function is show props, and we pass in the object and the object name. Uh, one of the reasons why you pass in the object and the object name is because JavaScript, even though you're going to pass in the name of the object here, it's not going to know the name of the object unless you pass it in as a string. I'll show you that later. Var for i in object. That means for each property in the object and it's going to set the property to i. So it's going to say if object has own property i, so if it does have that property, it's going to it's it's going to assign um, this result which started out with as an empty string as the object name and then it's going to put a dot and then it's going to put the property equals and then it's going to show what the property equals because this is this is bracket notation we're going to take the, the object which is going to be my car and then we're going to look for the property and we're just going to pull this property like for instance it's going to pull the property make model color and then even do i like and it's going to find out what that property equals using bracket notation well, this is going to be a little make more sense if we actually run this, and we're going to pass in my car. That's the object, and the object name is just the string my car. And I'm going to put that whole thing in a console.log and run. Okay, see. It's going to say my car dot make equals Ford, my car dot model equals Mustang, my car dot year equals 1969, my car dot do I like equals I hate my car. I'm going to go over three ways to create an object. We have object initializer, constructor function, and object dot create. With object initializer, I've already used that. If you do my, var my car equals new object you're using the object initializer. Another way to do that is use the is using the following notation. So if you put these little these little curly braces, you can also define an object. So the first pro property is color red, wheels four. If you look at engine, we are assigning engine another object. So the the value of a property can be another object. 
Now let's look at the constructor function. Another way to create an object is with the constructor function. First you define the object type with a constructor function, and then you create an instance of the object with new. So here's the constructor function. I'm saying function car, and we can pass in three, um, three um, values, make, model, and year. And now we have to put this.make equals make, this.model equals model, this.year equals year. The word this is saying that we need to uh, apply, the word this is talking about this object. So the car.make is going to equal the make value that you pushed in. The car.model is going to in, equal the model value we put in. And then the car.year is going to equal the year value that we put in. Now we just create an object by calling my car as follows. So we have my car equals new car. I'm going to pass in Chevy Malibu 1993. Another car is going to equal new car Mazda Miata 1990. And then if I just do console.log. Now you can always add a property to a previously defined object. For example, So even though we already created the the object, now we can even console.log and if we run that, it's still going to know the color at the very bottom, you can see black. The final way I want to talk about creating objects is object.create. Objects can also be created using the object.create method. This method can be very useful because it allows you to choose the prototype object for the object you want to create without having to define a constructor function. While showing how to use object.create, I will also show how to define a method for an object. A method is just a property of an object that is a function. So let me just paste this in. So first we're going to define the prototype. Var animal is going to um, have type equals invertebrates. This is just a default option for for animal. So if we put type invertebrates, the default is going to be invertebrates, so we can change that. We're also going to create a property that's a function. So when you create a property that's a function, it's called a method. So data type is going to be the function console.log this.type. So it can actually do something. It's not, not just a value. So down here, var animal one equals object.create animal. So we're gonna pass in this animal prototype into creating the object. So now it assigned animal one this whole thing, and then we can run animal.display type, and it's gonna display type invertebrates. However, if we create another animal, animal fish equals object.create animal, and then do fish.type equals fishes, when we display type, it's going to be using the fish. And you can see at the end, invertebrates fish. Well, there's a lot more to learn about objects, but those are the basics. Stay tuned for more about objects in future videos. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.